Alrighty, so that is his name, Matthew Clark Bergeron. So we love it. We think it is so fitting. I think it looks like it kind of blends really nicely with Elizabeth. And it definitely has a special meaning behind it. So I am going to talk a little bit before I end this video and just kind of share with you guys why we chose the name and what it means to us. So a little side note, if you didn't know, I'm adopted and I don't know where my name came from. I don't know why I was named this name. I don't, I don't know anything. I know that I love it. <laughs> I think it is a beautiful name, but I don't know how I got it and the reasoning and how she chose it and things like that or if it was my birth dad that chose it. So I knew I always wanted my kids to have something that had meaning. I didn't want to just give them a name because I liked it. I and no judgment if that's that's how you named your kid um your child but I just growing up I knew that I always wanted something with meaning I didn't want them to grow up and never know how they got their name um if something ever were to happen to us I'd want to know I'd want them to know that they um could kind of easily figure it out so growing up I loved my middle name I love my name to begin with so if you didn't know, my name is Ashley Elizabeth, and I just think it's so girly and beautiful, and it just flows so nicely. I think my birth mom did a great job picking out my name. Like I said, I just I love it. Um, so growing up, that was something I wanted to give my daughter. If I have a daughter, I wanted to name her Elizabeth. I just love it. I just love how classic it is. I think it works at any age. She's got so many options, too, with nicknames. And, um, yeah, I've just, I've loved it. And so when we named Elizabeth, Richard wasn't 100% on board. He loved the name Beth, um, but didn't love Elizabeth. And I was like, okay, well, why don't we just call her legally Elizabeth, but, like, call her Beth, because I do like the name Beth. Um, so, anywho, I was about to give up on that name and try for something else. And he finally was like, you know what, if this name means so much to you, then let's do it. So that's what we did. We did Elizabeth. And um, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I, I feel like she's Elizabeth. And yeah, so that's like a little side story with her. And now with baby boy, um, we had a name picked out before we were even pregnant again. We, we did. We had a name picked out. So we were like, perfect. The only thing was is if we ever had twins or something. We only plan on having two, so um, when we found out there was only one in here, um, we were like, perfect. Um, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, like, we don't have to worry about, because we had a girl name and a boy name. And then fast forward to my nanny scan, and we found out it was a boy. And before this point, Richard did approach me and tell me that somebody he worked with named their son this name and he just couldn't do it. He just, it totally changed the way he looked at the name and I was so bummed, like I cried because I loved this name so much. Sorry for the lighting, but the sun just like went behind the clouds, so hopefully it comes back out. Um, but um, yeah, I loved this name so much and he just couldn't do it. So. I said, like, you know what, I'm not going to stress about it because we don't even know if we're having a boy and yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of crying and getting so upset because we had finally found a name that we agreed on. So, um, yeah, once we found out we were having a boy, I still did not stress about it. I'm like, I'm not going to stress about this. We'll figure it out. We will find a name. I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried. So, of course my husband was. He was like, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to do, right? So, um, I will link it down below, but I did do a video when I was praying for Elizabeth. I hadn't told you guys yet. I think it was only like eight or nine weeks and it was baby names I love that we'd be using. And so those are some of the names that we did like. And, um, yeah. So as a joke one day, I was like, since you're all about fairness, you love fairness, let's do Matthew. And that was kind of like a joke because Richard, if you didn't know, Richard's middle name is Matthew. 
and he was like yeah actually Matthew that's not bad at all and I was just joking um which is funny because that's how we came up with the first name which I guess I can tell you we will find it but uh yeah and I was like I, I was just joking, I don't really want it, or whatever. So I looked, I even bought a baby book name, like, to see if anything would spark something. I was thinking of relatives and things like that. And, um, I decided to look up, one day I decided to look up Rainbow Baby Names. So if you didn't know, he will be our Rainbow Baby last, um, April. And so... His due date month is going to be the same month that a year ago I um, lost our baby. So um, if you are currently going through that, I'm so sorry. I don't wish it on anybody. I can actually leave all my miscarriage videos down below. Um, for me, I felt like it was important to talk about because I could help somebody. Um, I know my friend she didn't go through a miscarriage but she lost her baby at 20 weeks and um i know she finds comfort in talking to me because we both went through a loss um but anywho on a happier note so i was looking up baby names and rainbow baby names and matthew was one of the ones that came up because it means gift from god and that's when it kind of like clicked on me i felt like that was a sign that we had to Who's Matthew? Um, I couldn't think of any other name. Both couldn't agree on any other name. He liked it. And when I saw that, it just it just felt right. Like, it was just like a sign that I needed. And so, I know we're not being very original. We're both using our middle names. I can't give you, um, I can't even say anything about Elizabeth because, like, I just liked it. There was no really meaning besides that it was my middle name. And it was something that my birth mom gave to me. I could give to her and um yeah so we're doing Elizabeth and Matthew we're taking our middle names and giving it to our children um but if you didn't know Elizabeth's middle name is Donna and it is spelled D-A-W-N-A -A after my um birth or after my adoptive sister she I just say sister but just for confusion and whatever my adoptive sister she has always been somebody I looked up to she is the head honcho of the siblings she's the oldest out of all of us and yeah just somebody I've always admired and I wanted to um use her name as part of like I wanted to incorporate that I just thought that was a really cool way to incorporate her into Elizabeth's name and I also like the feminine touch it kind of gives so it's kind of different right so even though typically you spell Donna D-O-N-N-A I like that um, it kind of um, pays tribute to her, you know? And honestly, I'm not even mad if somebody messes it up and, and ever spells it D-O-N-N-A. It's like, whatever, that's my, that's my mom's name, so like, that's how she spells it. So, like, cool. Um, I never wanted to give my kids, though, a different spelling. I wanted it to be completely normal, just so that teachers um, and people aren't like, trying to guess how to spell their name so i love how like it's just little lizard normal you can't mess it up kind of thing um and same with matthew so i mean i guess maybe somebody might put one t into some two t's but um that's what we are doing and honestly it's kind of cool i like that like i don't know i think that is a cool way to to give our children something from us and then his middle name is going to be clark clark did i say that right yes um, C-L-A-R-K, and I like how it is a little bit different, and, um, if you didn't know, my maiden name is Clarkson, and so it's kind of like a tribute to my maiden name, I actually hyphenated my name, and, um, it, because I'm adopted, it's just something that my parents, like, fought hard to get for me, and I never wanted to just kind of feel like I was throwing it away, it, it means a lot. Um, and so I wanted to kind of give that to him. So that was actually going to be his first name, um, before his co-worker had named his son Clark. Now, his meaning is Spider-Man, or no, Superman. Um, that is the reason why he did it. He's a big fan of Superman. It has nothing to do with Superman. 
I just thought that was so cool to give that to him and so yeah that is that is his name sorry I feel like this video is kind of long um maybe I will put this in a different video depending on how long it is I'm hoping to add it to his nursery tour but if it gets to be too long then you'll see it's in a part two but yeah I just felt like I needed to explain everything and yeah that is it that is his name it feels good to kind of like let it out um I know for me it's kind of crazy to say it aloud and say Matthew and stuff because like nobody really knows well I shouldn't say that our immediate family knows um but the whole world doesn't kind of know yet well you guys might know <laughs> um if you're watching this you know so it's just like crazy that like I can say it now um and the reason why I wanted to tell you guys now is because I don't want to be in his nursery and have to hide it like I, I didn't personally um and nobody is going to nobody's opinion is going to change my mind this is what we're doing and yeah so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next week for a brand new video bye guys